Alrighty, it is now time for my next game, Jeopardy, for the Xbox 360. And this is game number 10. Jeopardy for the Xbox 360. Nine day total is one hundred sixty seven thousand seven hundred one dollars. See if I can add on to that total. Here we go. This is Jeopardy. of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Belgium, Belarus, or Belize? Hmm. Suffixes. Okay. The Summer Olympics. Hmm. Birth and death. Ships and biosphere. All right, let's get back in. Let's go over to Jimmy. Japan scored one of the biggest upsets in Olympic history in 2008, beating the U.S. to win the gold medal in this sport. Let's hear it, Layer One. What is softball. Good. <laughs> Summer Olympics. Select again. Here's Jimmy. A platypus was one of the mascots of the 2000 Games held in this city. Player one? What is Sydney? Yeah. 600. Player one. Different strokes. In 2008, Rebecca Sony won Olympic gold in 200 meter breaststroke. Natalie Coughlin in 100 meter this. Uh... Let's hear it, player two. Backstroke? Good for you. Yeah. Player two, make a selection, please. Summer Olympics 800. The 1972 games at this German city were the scene of terrorism and tragedy. Let's hear it, player one. What is Munich? <laughs> Finish it up for a thousand. A lot of Jin Young Lee and Jin Mun Park were members of this country's 2008 gold medal winning baseball team. Yes, player one. What is South Korea? Right. Okay. Player one. Pick again. Birth and death 200. The number one cause of death in the United States isn't cancer, but disease of this organ. It's player one. What is heart disease? Oh, hey, you're right. 400. Selecting a cuneiform tablet dating to 2000 BC is the first known reference to the type of birth associated with this Roman leader. It's player Who's one. Julius Caesar. Oh. Right you are. Birth and death for 600. Player one. The death in Death in Venice is from this waterborne disease that has caused several pandemics. It's player one. What is cholera? Oh. 800. Please. Louise Brown, the first baby conceived as the result of in vitro fertilization, was born in this decade. What is the Let's 1970s? Hear it, Layer one. Oh, you're right. 1,000. Layer 1. For 2011, the 10 highest fertility rates were in countries on this continent. Let's hear it, Layer 1. What is Africa? Yes. All we right. return to you, player Suffixes one. Suffixes for 200. We love this suffix that means lover of, as in audio or Anglo. 
Let's hear it, Layer One. What is file? Yes. Four hundred. Layer One. Oh, silly rabbit, this suffix isn't for kids. It was used for female equivalents, like for women aviators. Player one. What is tricks? Wow. All right, six thousand. Player one. This suffix, as with A C R or S Y N, is from the Greek for name. Okay, player one. What is onem? Yeah. That's it. 800 suffixes. Player one. The suffix O's, O-S-E, is used to form the names of these, as in glucose and sucrose. Here's what we wanted. Sugars. Ah, 1,000. You again, a three-letter suffix that forms the present participle of a verb, or before direct, an online banking group. I'll try. Player one. What is ing? Right. Okay, seventy-six. Player one, now. back to you for our next question. The submarine USS Nautilus was the first ocean-going vessel to use this form of power. Let's hear it, layer one. What is nuclear power? Yeah. Right. Ships for 400. Layer one. In 1838, the Sirius became the first steamship to cross this ocean using steam power alone. Here's the response we were looking for. The Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean, okay. Uh, let's go to Select again. Belgium, Belarus, or Belize for two. The largest in area. Okay, player three. No, that's not right. Not Belize. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player one. Let's see what is Belgium. No. No. That's not right. no. Well, that narrows it down. Any other takers? Yes, player two. Belarus. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. Player two has four. control the farthest south. And the farthest south Here's what is we were looking for. Belize. Belize. Player two, back to you. Same category for sex. The most populous. Let's hear it, player three. He says Belgium. Yeah! <laughs> On the plus side again. All right, now's the time for that. All right, let's get back into this. Player three has control. It's landlocked. Here's what we wanted. Belarus. Belarus. Player three, back to you for our Fishing next selection. It's thousand. part of the British Commonwealth of Nations. Here's the correct response. Belize. Belize. Player three, you pick Ships again, please. Six hundred. On a sailing ship, these can be bunt lines, downhauls, or sheets. It's player one. What are sails? No, that's not right. No. Anyone else? Down to 7,000. Here's the correct response. Ropes. Ropes. Okay. We return to you, player three. Ships for 800. Answer there, daily double. Answer? The daily now double. he has 400, but he can risk player up to 1,000. You are currently He's in last go. What's your wager? <clears throat> and the daily double clue. <clears throat> Apollo 15's command module was named in honor of this ship commanded by Captain James Cook.
He says Endeavor. Good for That's you. That's right. You get to pick again, player three. Ships for a thousand. Before its name was changed, this ship of Sir Francis Drake was known as the Pelican. Here's the correct response. Golden Hind. Golden Hind. Player three, back to you Biosphere for our next for selection. Samuel Elliott Morrison won a Pulitzer for Admiral of the Ocean Sea about this man who died in 1506. Okay, player one. Who is Christopher Columbus? Yep. There we go. Player one, well, make, as he is the subject of 1918 and 1939 Pulitzer Prize winners, perhaps the books should be read with bifocals. Here's the response we were looking for. Benjamin Franklin. Old, the old Ben Franklin. Player one, pick again. Uh, let's go for 800. Queen of Fashion is subtitled what she wore to the revolution. The correct response is Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette, okay. Player one, in a bit of table turning, Poison Pen is an unauthorized bio of this woman who wrote a bio of Nancy Reagan. Here's the response we were looking for. Kitty Kelly. Kitty Kelly. Never heard of her. All right, last and we'll one wrap up 600. the board with this clue. Mockingbird is a portrait of this southern writer. Player one. Who is William Faulkner? No. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player two. Harper Lee. Yep. That's what we needed. So that'll take player two to 1,400. Player three, you're going first in the double jeopardy round. Player three has 700 and I have 6,600. And we'll get double jeopardy started after this.